So box cutter, just like hard ops, if we expand the behavior palette and we go under the drop down under the sort area, we see that there's now an ignore flag that has nothing, which indicates space. And then we have a stop flag, which has an underscore. This will now add more versatility whenever it comes to sort, because when you add an ignore, that means that you can basically make one single modifier be ignored by just putting an underscore at the beginning of its name but you can make a series of modifiers be completely ignored from a point onward by basically having an underscore at the beginning. So to show this in action, let's press Q with our cube selected and we just add a bevel using hard ops. And if we just draw a box cut and we perform a cut, we see that this cut happened where it placed a bull in before the bevel. And as a result, the cut that we added received a bevel to be added. So if we were to just jump over to bevel and we add an underscore, this basically will set us up to have it be stopped. Meaning that from this point forward, it's just going to stop whenever it gets to the bevel in the stack. So let's just perform a cut. It pretty much looks the same way as if it were using the ignore flag, except that ignore is more of a personal thing. So to show this in action, let's go under add modifier and we put an array on it. And so now we have two objects. So, or we have one object that's now being arrayed twice. So we see that every time we cut, the object is having the array placed at the very end of the stack. But let's say that we wanted to drag this all the way up here, where basically it receives only the first Boolean cut, then it's arrayed, then it's beveled. But because we chose to use an underscore, it's actually flagging it to not do anything to it beyond that point. And what I mean beyond that point is from this point onwards up the modifier stack, we can consider these modifiers locked in to the point that sort will no longer change them and it'll only append modifiers later on in the stack. This sort of override is really needed for advanced modeling and for keeping things non-destructive even longer without having to mess with your ability to scroll things or render things properly. So it really is a major expansion on sort and you'll be hearing more about it as time goes on with why these are there, but just in case you ever need to just stop sort from just messing up your stack, you can just simply put an underscore at the beginning in order to stop that particular modifier from being touched or put an underscore if you just want it to be ignored. So with that, just introducing the new capabilities with sort inside of box cutter 719.6.